right another day another run uh, just about to start the david goggins 4x4x48 challenge uh, it's a challenge where one has to run 4 miles that's 6.4 kilometers every 4 hours for 48 continuous hours so that means i am going to start now the time is almost 8 pm and uh, i have to run uh, 4 miles at 8 pm get back home rest uh, midnight today midnight at 12 am another 4 miles saturday 4 am 4 miles 8 am 4 miles saturday noon 4 miles so on and so forth until uh, the whole thing gets over by the 12th run on uh, sunday 4 pm so i'll have covered a total of uh, 77 kilometers i think in uh, 48 hours so why do this? Uh, this is actually uh, a run that is slightly outside the normal where one gets minimum amount of uh, nutrition and rest and sleep. So just after I complete one four miles, I won't have enough time to rest properly or sleep properly, get a good night's sleep and uh, I'll have to be ready for the next run too. So this is slightly uh, there where you will get a slightly better uh, mental strength and uh, focus so hopefully this is my uh, yeah, this is my third year I did it first in 2020 uh, then completed in 2021 and this is my third edition so the difference or the uh, new feature that I am going to be adding for 2022 is that I am going to be running all these runs uh, topless as you can see this is what I have been doing for the past uh, one month in my hometown of Varapura so more updates on the way, uh, we'll see what happens, <laughs> as usual. Okay, so that went well. Uh, just completed loop one. Uh, it took about, I don't know, uh, 40 minutes or so. Another small aim that I'm adding with this is that uh, I'm not going to drink any water in between runs and I'm going to make all the runs non-stop runs there's not going to be any walking periods in between each run and compared to last year in last year in the 12 loops that I did in 2021 in 48 hours I was able to sleep or I only slept for a total of 6 hours in those 48 hours maybe it's just due to the full moon uh, full moon days have always had some effect on my performance and uh, last year the same happened I was just not feeling sleepy and am I around doing this alone? definitely not there are thousands of people doing the same thing with me as I speak right now so I am not alone David Goggins is doing all those who believe in his mentality is also doing it the same time as I am doing it so definitely I will be able to figure out that energy and uh, that's the first loop the next loop is at 12 in the midnight it's going to be fun yeah hey Google what's the date it's Saturday, the 5th of March, 2022. What's the time? It's 12.01 a.m. So it's 12 o'clock, uh, Saturday. Run 2. I'm going to do the another 4 loop. Which will add to 8 miles. And it's uh, midnight. And it's a little scary to run in the midnight because, you know, it's, it's a village. And there are a lot of houses nearby. People might get scared seeing my, I mean, hearing my footsteps or even watching me at this time of the, of the night. Anyways, that's what this run is all about and uh, it is what it is. I just got back from my midnight run. This time I went to a place called Karamkuri nearby. And when I reached halfway, there were a group of people who had come to have a good time. They were drunk, they were high on alcohol and they were singing a song 
which reminded me that I too was having a good time running at midnight. It reminded me that I used to be like that too. I used to depend on alcohol to purchase the feeling of happiness. But guess what? Not anymore. Now I have reprogrammed my mind and my brain which helps me to be happy on my own account whenever I want. I have made the decision to move on, to wise up and to be the creator of my own happiness. Step for one hour and ten minutes. Today is Saturday. It's a working day for my college, which means I have to go, which means I'm going. So the things that I'm going to take to college are up up wiring up. <laughs> Then banana smoothie with peanut butter, water, and another water. Then uh, formal pants for college, innerwear, my torth, head band, running socks, belt. Then if you come here, a laptop for uh, uh, compiling the YouTube video, my gimbal. Uh, phone holder for stabilizing the video. My glasses while running at noon. That too. Right now, I'm doing a cute little climb in front of my college. Which reminds me why do people quit at the start? Even before they make an effort, why do they not go through? Make the climb and just wait a bit. Why do people have no patience at all? Guess what all climbs have? They have a peak. You only have to work hard until you reach the peak. After that, it's just smooth downhill. Now they can relax. Because I've done the work. Because we've made the climb. The sooner you realize that, the better life will be for you. It's a few minutes past midnight. As you're watching this, are you sleeping well? Are you enjoying the bed? I'm enjoying too. I'm enjoying the road. I'm enjoying the night. I'm enjoying life. Three more rounds to go. Just completed. Second last run and the final toughest run being Sunday at noon. Was it tough? Definitely. Was it hot? Hot as hell. But is it possible? You bet. 100 percentage. Did it just like I promised? Without drinking water? Without stopping in between? And without a shirt? The toughest part has just got over. Now one more round is remaining. At 4 pm. See you soon.
തൻ്റെ കഴിവ് തെളിയിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് അവർക്ക് വേണ്ടി ചാരിറ്റി പ്രവർത്തനം നടത്തി വരുന്ന ജിബിയുടെ കാര്യങ്ങൾ ഇരുപത്തൊന്ന് ജൂലൈ ഫേസ്ബുക്കിൽ ലൈവായി ഇരുന്നൂറ്റി അമ്പത് പുള്ള അറുന്നൂറ് പുഷപ്പ് എന്നിവ ചെയ്തുകൊണ്ട് ഫണ്ട് ശേഖരിക്കുകയുണ്ടായി കഴിഞ്ഞ ഓഗസ്റ്റിൽ അറുന്നൂറ് അറുപത് കിലോമീറ്റർ ഓടിക്കൊണ്ട് മറ്റൊരു ഫണ്ട് റേസർ നടത്തുകയുണ്ടായി കഴിഞ്ഞ നവംബറിൽ കർണാടകയിൽ നടന്ന എൺപത് കിലോമീറ്റർ മാരത്തിനിൽ പതിമൂന്ന് മണിക്കൂർ കൊണ്ട് ഓടി തീർത്തു ഈ കഴിഞ്ഞ ജാനുവരിയിൽ നൂറ് മൈൽ നൂറ്റി അറുപത് കിലോമീറ്റർ മാരത്തൺ മുപ്പത്തിരണ്ട് മണിക്കൂർ കൊണ്ട് ഓടി തീർത്ത് രണ്ടര ലക്ഷം രൂപ തൊടുപുഴയിലെ ശ്രീ ഇമ്മാനുവൽ ചിൽഡ്രൻസ് ഹോമിനും അതോടൊപ്പം തന്നെ ചെന്നൈയിലെ പ്രിറ്റി ലിറ്റിൽ ഹാർട്സിനു വേണ്ടി ഈ തുക സമാഹരിക്കുകയുണ്ടായി വളരെയധികം അഭിമാനത്തോടെ ഈ നിമിഷം ഞങ്ങൾ ജീവിയെ ഓർക്കുന്നു ജീവിയെ സ്നേഹപൂർവ്വം ഇതിലേക്ക് ക്ഷണിക്കുന്നു So completed the last 4 mile loop it was supposed to be completed at 4 pm but there was a small memento that i had i had to collect from my community of uh, anglo indians in varapura uh, for my commitment uh, to uh, society through sports and uh, that pushed things a little beyond uh, 4 pm and now it's 6:50 pm and uh, finally it's done so was it easy definitely not it's nothing is ever easy how you look at things beforehand before starting something that will determine the output or the outcome i was able to see the finishing line or this moment in future when i started this event on friday 8 pm so it was tough it was painful but it's not as painful as what is kadar my friend in kolkod going through he had an accident last year which left his leg severely damaged and now he has had to sell his land and the whole thing has cost him more than 10 lakhs so we as a group of runners and other endurance athletes are trying to raise money for him through various events the main event being three of my friends doing a full triathlon distance on march 12th so do support and take part in him getting back to his feet so this is my third year of doing the 4 by 4 by 48 where one has to run 4 miles every 4 hours for 48 continuous hours with minimum of sleep with minimum of nutrition and with minimum of rest